everyone, welcome back to another Jeff and Chi Do DIY video. I'm Wan Chi and we will be painting the outside of our house. Since we bought this house in 2016, it hasn't really been maintained, let alone have a proper paint job. When we moved in this year, we could see the paint system failing. And what I mean is, the paint is peeling or flaking off in, in various areas and that starting, uh, timber is starting to show from underneath. So in this video, we will focus on the first three processes. Cleaning, scraping, and filling. Everything before painting. Why do we need the house to be clean? I mean, why can't we just get on with it and just start painting? The truth is, preparation is key to a long-term paint system. The paint needs a clean surface to adhere to, so if there's dirt, cotton between the new paint and the substrate, you will be stuck with a crappy paint job and that would result in peeling paint, cracking, bubbling, all of which leads to more work. I got myself a water blaster to help speed up the cleaning process uh, and then I applied detergent and a brush for manual scrubbing. I only learned after doing the job that you're not supposed to water blast the paint because it can damage both the paint and the woodwork. Also, it didn't completely remove the the chalkiness of the old paint so I had to manually wipe off as much of the chalky layer as I could. I also completely underestimated the time needed to clean the pergola because it has so many small surfaces and structures. I later realized that the, the PVC roofing over half of the pergola um, limited my access to the upper section of the house and it's too flimsy to be stood on so I had to remove it. The lesson here is to think about your access before you start and remove anything that is in the way. Once the cleaning is complete, I then moved on to step two, which is scraping and sending off any loose paint and sealant. I used a scraper with a tungsten tip and then followed up with my orbital sander using a 40 grit sandpaper. I started with the sealant around the windows and the sliding doors. These were all properly cracked and had to be replaced. So I've done the silicone corking. And then on top of that, I also added paintable caulk so that I can have the paint cover. This took me a while, but once I added the new caulking, I went ahead and I primed with, with the paint, which, which wasn't the best. Another lesson I learned, I should have read the, the paint data sheet. It actually refers to a primer system for bare timber. Then I tackled the pergola. Man, the paint on on top of the pergola was at its worst. It had biological growth like, like lichens that grew through the existing paint and timber. So I had to completely take the paint off. Moving 
Moving on to the fascia board. The paint here must have failed for some time now because the, the cracks in the boards are very deep and quite wide as well. Then the final prep area was the weatherboard, which wasn't so bad as it was limited to, you know, small cracks and peeling off and fingernail sizes. So after the paint removal, the third process is to go back and fill in any large cracks uh, or screw holes, which was left by the, the PVC roof. So some people would do this after they primed the area. I made sure that the, that the surface is clean before I started filling. Now the reason for filling is because paint can only cover so much and if they were to span these cracks and holes, the paint system would be weak in these areas and it's just going to, to fail prematurely. So those were the three things that I wanted to talk about in this video. Everything aside from painting. I hope this has been an informative video to you. Learning from my mistakes means that you can get on with your paint job a lot quicker than, than I did. If you like this video, please hit on the like button and do subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. I, I do hope the weather stays good so I can finish my paint job and I will see you next time.